I smell something fishy. Fish and chips may have its roots in England, but there are some American chains that are doing it right, and some of them just might surprise you. Today, we're diving fork first into the crispy golden world of deep fried delights as we explore 10 restaurant chains that serve the best fried fish. I got better fish to fry. Culver's. To everyone who's hungry for something special, Culver's is the place for us. When it comes to comfort food with a side of Midwestern charm, Culver's is the place to be. This family owned chain is a true jack of all trades, offering up a delicious range of goodies, from their beloved butter burgers to sides that include pretzel bites, cheese curds, and chili fries. But don't let the variety fool you. Culver's has a hidden gem in the form of their delectable fried fish. Let's talk fish, shall we? At Culver's, they take their aquatic offering seriously. You've got options, my friend. First up, the North Atlantic Cod Dinner, a mouth-watering duo of hand-battered and deep-fried cod cuts served alongside a fluffy roll and two sides. And if you're doing it right, Don't worry, fish. I'm gonna take care of you. You'll definitely want to include those crispy fries and slaw in the mix. Now, if you're feeling a bit more laid back, the North Atlantic Cod Filet Sandwich has your name written all over it. Picture that same flaky fried cod nestled within a soft roll, adorned with sauce, cheese, and a crisp bed of lettuce. It's simplicity with a punch. And here's the kicker. Culver's prides itself on making everything fresh when you order it, including their fish. So whether you're in the mood for a fishy feast or just a quick satisfying bite, Culver's is the spot where Midwestern charm meets mouth-watering flavors. This is the best fish sandwich in America. Bubba Gum Shrimp Company. I'm not asking you anymore. I'm telling you, eat it. For all shrimp lovers and movie buffs, get ready to run, Forrest, run! Straight into the flavorful world of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Inspired by the iconic 1994 film Forrest Gump, this seafood has proven that a restaurant inspired by a movie can not only work but flourish. There are over 30 Bubba Gump Shrimp restaurants spread across the globe, with a majority waving the American flag but also making waves in Mexico, Japan, and more. Sure, the name may scream shrimp. Shrimp kebabs, shrimp creole, shrimp gumbo. But don't be fooled, Bubba Gump's menu is a treasure trove of flavors beyond the briny deep. Lobster, chicken, ribs, steak, sides, soups, they've got it all. And of course, we can't forget the star of today's show, the fried fish. When it comes to that crispy golden fried fish, they keep it classy with a hearty fish and chips meal. It's a tantalizing trio that includes perfectly cooked fries, a refreshing coleslaw, and tartar sauce that's as zesty as Forrest's adventures. The fish is fried to flaky golden perfection, making each bite a taste of the ocean with a southern twist. So while the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company may be best known for its namesake crustaceans, don't let that shrimp shine blind you to their fantastic fried fish. Can't pay for my own shrimp. I got the shrimp. Long John Silvers. Long John Silver. At your humble service. Ahoy there, mateys. If you're on the hunt for fried fish that's swashbucklingly good, look no further than Long John Silver's. Unlike your typical fast food joint that dabbles in seafood, this place is a seafood-centric fast food haven. And when it comes to frying up fish, they've got it down to an art form. Long John Silver's gets its name from the classic pirate character Long John Silver from Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island. They opened their first treasure chest, a uh, restaurant, in 1969 in Lexington, Kentucky. Now, let's talk fish. These buccaneers offer a variety of options, with their primary catches being wild Alaska cod and Pacific cod. A pirate? Well, that's hardly the image we want for Long John Silvers. If you're feeling a bit adventurous, you can even set sail with some wild Alaska pollock in the form of fish tacos. But their highlight is definitely their fried fish. Take, for instance, their wild Alaskan pollock sandwich. It's a golden breaded filet cradled between a soft roll adorned with pickles and tartar sauce. The breading, it's just right. Not too heavy, not too light. A delicate and crisp crunch gives way to the mild, sweet flavor of the fish beneath. But hold on to your taste buds because it's that tartar sauce that really steals the show. Creamy, tangy, and the perfect companion to the fish. So whether you're a land lover or a seasoned sailor, Long John Silver's fried fish is a treasure worth discovering. Take that, every other restaurant. First time here? Well, you don't need a boat or a fishing rod to hit that subscribe button, so go ahead and smash it. Thanks.
Thank you. Red Lobster. Want to go to Red Lobster on the way home? It's time to visit the aquatic wonderland that is Red Lobster. With approximately 650 locations scattered like pearls across the United States and even making waves worldwide in places like China, Mexico, and Turkey, Red Lobster has been casting its net wide since its 1968 maiden voyage in sunny Lakeland, Florida. Their motto? A harbor for seafood lovers. And they've been living up to that promise ever since. You're going to be a free-range lobster. Now, what's their secret to staying afloat? Well, it's a tantalizing combination of deals like endless shrimp that'll have you swimming in the crustacean goodness, and, of course, those irresistible Cheddar Bay biscuits that are practically legendary. But let's not forget the reason we're here, the fried fish. At Red Lobster, they take their fried fish seriously, and it shows. Among their offerings, the crispy wild-caught fried flounder stands tall, earning itself a legion of devoted fans. You can savor this crispy wonder as part of a platter, complete with a delectable side dish, and, of course, that amazing tartar sauce that's practically liquid gold. Or if you're in the mood for a handheld feast, the fried flounder sandwich awaits. Piled high with refreshing coleslaw and more of that irresistible tartar sauce, all snugly nestled within a brioche bun. Come taste what's new at Red Lobster. Applebee's. Applebee's has rats! I found a whole rat my cob salad! Looking for a dining experience where variety is the name of the game? Well, look no further than Applebee's. This restaurant chain has mastered the art of offering a menu so extensive that it's practically guaranteed to cater to every taste bud. From wings to pasta, burgers to steak, and salads to seafood, Applebee's has a little something for everyone. Applebee's is all about that casual dining vibe, delivering a menu brimming with classic American dishes. This is Applebee's. It definitely was overcooked. Whether you're in the mood for a hearty salad, succulent chicken, comforting pasta, or their signature riblets, this place has it all. They've aimed to create a neighborhood pub feel where friendly service and quality fare come together, all at a price that won't break the bank. Now, let's talk seafood, shall we? Applebee's may be known for its diverse menu, but that doesn't mean they skimp on the aquatic delights. Coast to coast, you can dive into their crunchy battered shrimp or satisfy your cravings with their classic hand-battered fish and chips. And as it should be, the dish comes complete with fries, tartar sauce, a side of slaw, and a zesty lemon wedge. And who wants to go to Applebee's by themselves? Texas Roadhouse. When I'm hungry for the great steak of Texas, I always go to the Texas Roadhouse. Get ready to saddle up and head on down to Texas Roadhouse, the quintessential American steakhouse that's all about that Texan and Southwestern flavor. Now, you might be thinking, steakhouse? What's fish doing in the mix? Well, hold on to your 10-gallon hats, because Texas Roadhouse isn't just about the beef, it's got some fantastic fish options that deserve a spot in the limelight. Sure, this place is famous for its juicy, mouth-watering steaks that'll have you drooling faster than a tumbleweed in a dust storm. Hey guys, look at that. Tumbleweed's following us. But here's the secret. Don't sleep on their fish offerings. You'll find delectable choices like grilled salmon and grilled shrimp, both served in a zesty lemon pepper butter sauce and accompanied by two sides that'll make your taste buds do a Texas two-step. But let's check out the fried fish, shall we? Texas Roadhouse knows how to do it right. They serve up U.S. farm-raised catfish coated in that good old southern cornmeal breading and fried to a glorious golden brown. Each bite is a crunchy, flavorful journey to the heart of the South, and it's an adventure you won't want to miss. Now, as much as we'd love to sing praises solely to those thick steak fries, you've got options, partner. Feel like wrangling a loaded baked potato instead? You got it. Get me a baked potato so I can throw it at your head! Bonefish Grill. Experiencing the thrills and flavors of the shoreline. Hailing from sunny Florida, the Bonefish Grill restaurant chain has made quite a splash with its delicious offerings. When it comes to fried fish, Bonefish Grill has mastered the art of satisfying those crispy crisps. Cravings. Bonefish Grill's fish and chips is an ode to the classic favorite. What sets it apart? It's all about the details. This delightful creation features crispy fried cod served alongside a duo of condiments, tartar sauce and malt vinegar, plus a side of golden fries. English contribution to world cuisine, the chip. 
Now, let's talk about that cod. The serving size is nothing short of generous, and each piece boasts a visible layer of seasoning that adds a burst of flavor. As you bite into the golden brown exterior, you're greeted with an impressive, audible crunch that's music to any fried fish lover's ears. But it's not just about the crunch, it's what's inside that counts. The pieces of cod are generously thick, ensuring that they're perfectly cooked on the inside, flaky and tender. And that seasoning? It's like a savory symphony of garlic and pepper, elevating each bite to a new level of deliciousness. Bonefish Grill's Fish and Chips is a crispy, flavorful delight that's sure to reel you in. What do the English usually eat with chips? Wait a moment! It's fish! Joe's Crab Shack. Woohoo! It feels amazing! If you're on the hunt for a coastal escape without leaving your hometown, look no further than Joe's Crab Shack, where every day feels like a day at the shore. This American chain of beach-themed seafood casual dining restaurants knows how to make waves, originally setting anchor in the heart of Houston, Texas, and now boasting a fleet of locations spanning the entire United States. Now, don't let the name fool you. While Joe's Crab Shack is famous for its crab offerings, then we will make you into crab people. You'd be doing yourself a disservice if you didn't take a dive into their fish and chips. Just like how you might head to a Red Lobster for lobster but end up staying for the fish, Joe's Crab Shack knows how to make waves with this classic dish. Picture this, hand-dipped, flaky white fish served alongside a mound of coleslaw. It's simplicity at its finest, but that's precisely what makes it so darn great. And let's talk portions. Joe's Crab Shack doesn't mess around. They serve it up big, so you won't be leaving hungry. Folks online can't stop raving about it with comments like, it's my favorite because of this huge portion of great tasting fish. And we couldn't agree more. With 46 Joe's Crab Shack locations scattered across America, you might have to embark on a bit of a treasure hunt to find one, but it's a search worth every savory bite. Get into the big, bold taste of Joe's Crab Shack. Captain D's Great little seafood place, you love Captain D's. If you're cruising through the South, there's one fast food treasure trove you won't want to miss, Captain D's. Now, if you live up north or on the West Coast, you might not have crossed paths with this hidden gem. But down South, it's a seafood sensation with a whopping 541 locations and counting. Captain D's journey began in 1969 in Donaldson, Tennessee, under the name Mr. D's Seafood and Hamburgers. From those humble beginnings, it's become a Southern institution, serving up ocean-fresh delights to seafood enthusiasts far and wide. You like seafood? I know a good seafood place. But let's talk fish, the heart and soul of Captain D's. When it comes to fried fish, they've got you covered, offering a tantalizing array of options. There's battered and fried fish, succulent catfish, and crispy fried shrimp, just to name a few. Now, you might be wondering, what kind of fish are we talking about here? Well, Captain D's menu doesn't spill all the beans, but after a bit of sleuthing, we've uncovered the truth. According According to a marine biologist in the know, Captain D's uses whole fillets of Alaskan pollock as the base for their battered fish. No fish bits or mysterious fish parts here, just wholesome fillets. It's a commitment to quality that sets them apart. I'm getting four orders of these the next time I'm at D's. Legal Seafoods You know, this was the fanciest restaurant in Quahog when I was a kid. If you're in the mood for fried fish but prefer a touch of upscale dining, Legal Seafoods that catch the day you've been waiting for. While the chains we've explored so far have leaned towards casual dining, Legal Seafoods elevates the seafood experience to a more refined level. This culinary gem, founded in 1968 by George Berkowitz, started with humble beginnings, serving fried seafood on paper plates at picnic tables. But it's come a long way since then, proudly dedicating itself to the mantra, if it isn't fresh, it isn't legal. With around two dozen locations, Legal Seafoods offers a menu that spans the depths of the ocean, offering nearly every type of fish you can imagine. I wonder if the gods like seafood. However, the true star of the show is their elevated version of fish and chips. Now, we'll be up front here. This is not your budget-friendly fish and chips. This dish will set you back nearly $30, making it the priciest option on today's seafood journey. But it's absolutely worth every penny. Their fish and chips proudly boasts, locally sourced by our good friend Tori Bramante, and it's a true testament to freshness and flavor. So if you're willing to 
splurge a bit for a seafood experience that's both sophisticated and sumptuous, head on over to Legal Seafoods. Do you have oysters? We do not. Ah, shucks. Searching for another great video? Well, your search is over. Just tap or click and smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.